The forklift approaches, lifting the bucket head up with its forks. Then it moves forward, pushing the bucket to tip over to the side. When the bucket is almost completely upside down, the forklift adjusts its position to complete the tipping process. The crane lifts the Christmas tree, but exceeds its rated capacity. As the boom extends and tilts, the crane becomes unstable and tips over, collapsing to the ground due to improper load estimation and setup. A truck with a low-bed trailer is positioned in front of the rig. Workers attach strong steel cables from the trailer's winch to the base of the rig. As the winch begins to pull, the rig slowly slides up a pair of steel ramps placed at the back of the trailer. Workers on both sides monitor the alignment and ground clearance, ensuring a smooth ascent. The pulling is done gradually to maintain stability and avoid shifting. Once the rig reaches the trailer deck, it is carefully centered and aligned. Workers then secure it with chains and tensioners to prepare for transport. The port of the Hitachi excavator begins with the excavator being securely secured with heavy-duty tracks and buckets. After all safety checks are completed, the Scania R620 sets off from the loading site, pulling the low-floor trailer carrying the massive machine. The convoy moves slowly through narrow industrial roads, carefully navigating tight turns and elevation changes. The truck's air suspension is tuned for optimal balance and ground clearance. Warning lights are turned on, and escort vehicles accompany the transporter to ensure road safety. Along the route, the technical team continuously monitors load data and the yacht's position through sensors installed on the trailer. Crew members stay in constant communication via radio, relaying traffic conditions ahead and adjusting speed and direction in real time. Each segment of the journey is pre-planned, with scheduled short stops to inspect the setup and ensure everything remains safe and stable before proceeding. As the journey continues, the driver maintains a steady speed, ensuring the load remains stable through the curves and uneven terrain. Roadside observers can see the impressive coordination between the truck and escort vehicles, especially on downhill slopes and sharp turns. Upon arrival at the Zafa SRL quarry in Torre di Santa Maria Sondrio, the driver carefully maneuvers the truck into the designated unloading area. The trailer is aligned on level ground in preparation for unloading. The rams are then hydraulically deployed, extending smoothly from the rear of the trailer. The operator re-enters the cab, starts the engine and slowly drives the ZX470 forward onto the rams. Once firmly landed on the quarry ground, the process is complete. Once the excavator has completed its work in the quarry, it is transported back by the haul truck. The yacht launching process begins with the vessel resting on a custom steel cradle inside the shipyard. A specialized heavy-duty hydraulic trailer is positioned beneath the cradle using remote control. The trailer, equipped with multiple axles and self-leveling suspension, lifts the entire assembly slightly off the ground. Once secured, it slowly transports the yacht out of the assembly hall toward the launch ramp. After being safely lifted by the specialized hydraulic trailer, the yacht begins its journey from the shipyard to the launch site. The heavy-duty trailer, equipped with dozens of wheels and a self-leveling suspension system, slowly rolls onto the main road. The transportation process is carried out with great care and precision, closely supervised by a technical team and escorted by guide vehicles. Every turn, road gradient and potential obstacle, such as power lines, road signs, or trees, has been thoroughly surveyed in advance. In some cases, local authorities assist by temporarily stopping traffic to ensure maximum safety. 
Thanks to the coordinated efforts of all involved, the massive yacht steadily makes its way along the route, drawing closer to the waterside launch point. Throughout the journey, constant communication between the transport crew ensures that any unexpected issues are addressed immediately. Despite its size, the yacht moves with calculated grace, drawing attention from onlookers as it approaches the final stage of its overland voyage. As the trailer approaches the water, ground crew members guide the movement with precision. The trailer reverses carefully down the sloped concrete launch ramp until the yacht's stern begins to float. Workers ensure stability by monitoring alignment and clearance during the descent. With the stern partially buoyant, the trailer continues lowering the yacht until the entire hull is afloat. At this stage, additional checks are performed to confirm that the hull is watertight and stable. Lines are attached to the bow and stern for control. Once the yacht is fully in the water, the cradle is unlocked and the hydraulic trailer slowly backs out from underneath the vessel. A tugboat or small push vessel may assist in maneuvering the yacht away from the ramp area. The yacht is gently towed to a nearby dock for final inspections and outfitting. Throughout the process, coordination between crane operators, ground personnel, and marine crews ensures the operation proceeds safely and efficiently. The entire launch is conducted without cranes or floating dry docks, relying solely on the self-propelled trailer and ramp. This method offers high control over movement and minimizes risk during transfer. The final float-off is smooth, marking the successful transition of the yacht from land to water. The heavy haulage operation begins with a 100-meter long convoy departing at night to minimize traffic disruption. The cargo, mounted on modular hydraulic trailers, is carefully maneuvered through narrow village roads with the help of escort vehicles and police. To navigate tight turns, operators adjust the trailer's steering axles remotely, temporary traffic signs are removed, and intersections are secured ahead of time. At sharp bends, the convoy stops momentarily while technicians coordinate precise movements. Spotters on foot guide the trailer's path, ensuring clearance from obstacles. Road infrastructure, such as curbs and poles, is either avoided or temporarily dismantled. The convoy maintains a low speed for safety and control, reaching the industrial site without incident. This operation showcases expert coordination and specialized equipment in handling oversized cargo. The transportation of the oversized cargo begins at the port of Fruard, where the heavy convoy is carefully prepared. The cargo, a large industrial component, has previously arrived from Shanghai by sea and then traveled by barge from Antwerp. Once at Fruard, the cargo is transferred onto a specialized multi-axle trailer designed for exceptional loads. The convoy departs slowly, Accompanied by escort vehicles and technical personnel, it travels at a controlled speed, often under 10 km per hour, to ensure stability and minimize vibrations. The route is carefully planned to avoid tight corners, low bridges, and obstacles. Road signs and street furniture are temporarily removed to clear the path. To manage the extreme weight and size, the convoy includes a modular hydraulic trailer with independently steerable axles. Personnel walk alongside, monitoring clearances and guiding the driver. In some sections, support crews use wooden planks or steel plates to reinforce weak road surfaces or protect underground utilities. Traffic is stopped temporarily at intersections, roundabouts, and level crossings. Police or private escorts direct traffic, ensuring public safety. The convoy crosses narrow village roads and makes use of bypasses or widened shoulders when necessary. After several hours of careful maneuvering through Lorraine's roads, the convoy reaches its destination in Varangeville. The success of the operation depends on meticulous coordination between logistics teams, 
drivers, escort crews, and local authorities. On March 16, 2022, an exceptional convoy transported the luxury boat Dolce Vita from the port of Reeves to Marseille. The video captures a crucial and particularly complex part of the operation passing through the roundabout at Place des Arts in the town of tonon les bains Mounted on a massive multi-axle trailer, the oversized boat presented serious logistical challenges. As the convoy reached the roundabout, the tight curve and limited space between sidewalks, lampposts, and traffic signs made passage extremely difficult. The trailer was equipped with hydraulically steered axles, allowing the rear wheels to pivot independently, but even with this technology, the crew had to proceed at a snail's pace. A ground team, positioned around the vehicle, continuously guided the driver using walkie-talkies and hand signals. They monitored every corner of the vessel to avoid contact with nearby objects. In several moments, the team had to remove or adjust obstacles, such as traffic signs and protective barriers, to allow safe clearance. The boat overhung both sides of the road, requiring precise coordination. Every few meters, the convoy paused while the team checked alignment and tire position. Despite the tight constraints, the driver, aided by the support crew, slowly navigated the roundabout without causing damage. Spectators gathered to witness the impressive maneuver. The video showcases the incredible teamwork, technical skill, and planning needed to transport such a massive vessel through a narrow urban intersection. A truck carefully approaches and crosses a narrow wooden bridge over a frozen river. The driver maintains slow speed to ensure stability. Wooden planks creak under the heavy load as the vehicle cautiously navigates the uneven surface. After safely reaching the other side, the truck continues its journey through the remote, snow-covered terrain. Two large trucks run side by side, carrying giant full-size trucks on a shared trailer bed. They move slowly down the highway, escorted by guide vehicles. The load remains stable throughout the journey, navigating curves and overpasses with coordinated precision. The fully loaded Schachtemann truck slowly began to climb the steep hill carrying a heavy load of timber. As it climbed, the truck struggled to maintain traction due to the loose soil and uneven terrain. The rear tires occasionally slipped, causing the truck to sway to one side. Despite the dangerous slope, the driver carefully controlled his speed and steered to avoid tipping over. Support workers on foot provided assistance by monitoring tire movement and ground conditions. Eventually, the truck reached a flatter section where it regained balance and stability. Continuous coordination and careful control were essential throughout the climb to prevent accidents and ensure a safe ascent.
A Tata 1212 TC 4x4 log truck moves along a muddy track loaded with logs. As it climbs a small hill, the wet, soft terrain causes the wheels to sink and lose traction. The driver carefully steers the truck, shifting gears to maintain momentum. Despite the 4x4 system and the truck's large load capacity, the rear wheels struggle to grip the muddy surface. The weight of the logs adds pressure, making the climb even more difficult. The truck sways side to side and slides slightly backwards, but the driver cautiously accelerates to regain forward motion. Mud is sprayed from the spinning tires and the engine roars under the load. People use shovels and hose to dig, but dry soil is placed in front of the wheels to help the truck move forward through the wet mud. Approaching a tight curve, when a truck skidded due to slippery mud while climbing a steep curve, a cable was attached to the front of the truck and connected to the rear of the truck in front to prevent the truck from sliding down. Because the road was so slippery, the truck still slid down the slope and could not go up, even though the driver tried to accelerate the truck up. The $14 million radio telescope was transported to the top of Kitt Peak, Arizona. Precision heavy haul planned and engineered every detail, requiring over 6,000 man-hours. The convoy traveled carefully, especially during the final 11 miles along a narrow mountain road. Tire reliability was critical, as failure could delay the project by hours and shut down the observatory. The successful haul relied on precise coordination and dependable equipment. The setup begins with preparing the site using matting to stabilize the ground. Next, the substructure is assembled to support the drilling equipment. Crews then install the derrick, lifting and securing it in place with cranes. The doghouse, used for control and monitoring, is positioned nearby. Following that, the pipe rack is set up to hold the drill pipes, and the pipe catwalk is connected to allow pipes to be moved safely and efficiently to the rig floor. The mud tanks are placed next and connected to the mud pumps, which will circulate drilling fluid through the system. The blowout preventer BOP is then installed on the wellhead to ensure well control during drilling. Finally, the push shack, housing the rig controls and automation systems, is positioned and connected. After the piping systems and auxiliary equipment are thoroughly inspected and securely fastened, Hydraulic and electrical connections are established to ensure all components operate in sync. The technical team performs a final check of pressure readings, safety valves, and monitoring devices to confirm readiness for the installation of well control components. Each step is carried out according to strict standardized procedures to minimize risks and ensure maximum safety. Close coordination between technical crews helps save time while maintaining high precision. The entire setup is executed quickly and efficiently, demonstrating how Savannah's double rig 621 can be fully operational within a single day.